Hello, I'm Patrick McGee, sports writer for the Sun Herald. I'm Patrick Cook, sports writer for the Sun Herald. This is Sports Guys Week 6. We're here to talk about Friday night's big games. I'll be talking about Gaucher Picayune and also Ocean Springs Hancock. And I'll kick things off talking about Diaberville uh, visiting Biloxi and then our game of the week, which is St. Martin at Gulf, uh, uh, Gulfport. Uh, with Diaberville, interesting, like you wrote about in your column earlier this week, you, you don't know what warrior team you're going to see. Some weeks their defense stands out, and you know as of right now they're two and three. Now they've played a tough schedule. Uh, I was at last week's loss at Stannis loss, final second touchdown. You know difficult one to swallow, but it might be a good loss going into region play here, where they can kind of refocus heading into where this the schedule really counts. Uh, you know, they're going to need Jaquel Green to do all sorts of things for them on offense and defense. Uh, he's been a big playmaker for them. Then you look at Biloxi, they had a, 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 a bye week that came at the right time. They got some guys healthy. As we know now, Tim Jones is back, first game back, scores two touchdowns. Within a week, he's already got offers from Louisiana Lafayette and now Southern Miss, apparently. Uh, I expect a kid who, as a sophomore, had 100 catches for 1,000 yards to you know, continue to pull in some catches. It'll be a fun game. You know, Bobby Hall's got, uh, with the exception of uh, his fullback, he's got pretty much everybody back, quarterbacks back now. Uh, and to be honest, their style of play, I think, kind of suits Diaberville, where you know, Stanislaus spread them out. Biloxi, they like to run. They'll keep everybody kind of more compact, even with Tim Jones back on the field. Uh, I think Dabrell kind of writes the ship in this one and wins by 10. And then our game of the week, we got St. Martin, I mean, what can you say about them? First 5-0 and start since uh, 1989. You know, they've got uh, Tyler Polk, who I like to call Slash because he does a little bit of everything, throws, runs, catches. He could probably kick and punt if they needed him to, but they don't need it. Uh, you know, I'll talk about their defense here a little bit, though. You know, they're outscoring. They're, they've held opponents so far to 88 points. Um, Chance Seymour and Peyton Pataglia, uh, Coach Whitehead said, have really led the way. They're not going to wow you physically, but they just they have a nose for the ball and they can rack up some tackles. Then you got Gulfport, who uh, have also played a tough schedule. Um, you know, Coach uh, Pierce said that St. Martin's going to be the best team they've faced, and that's including uh, a Prattville team in Alabama that you know is regionally renowned. Uh, always a good team. I like another uh, tough. Tough battle here, but I think St. Martin will keep the good times rolling, win by 14. As far as Hancock Ocean Springs, Hancock has stumbled the last couple of weeks. Uh, turnovers are a real problem right now. Fiesel's a nice quarterback, nice big guy, nice strong guy. You look at Hancock and you're thinking this team's got a lot of potential, but as long as they can clean up mistakes, they can hang with anybody. But as long as they're turning the ball over right now, I think Ocean Springs uh, maybe didn't play as well as they would have liked last week against Murrah, but I still see Ocean Springs kind of picking up things with the start of region play. I see Ocean Springs winning by two, three touchdowns in that game. Drew Wyndham probably gets going. He had four rushing scores last week. Uh, I think he's going to get better as the season goes along at senior quarterback. Uh, and then you have Picky and Gauche. It's really, to me, it's a really interesting game. I think it's going to be a barn burner. Uh, Picky and struggled on defense this season. Uh, they're always going to put up points historically. They're going to run the ball, and Josh Lills is filled right in. And one of the top rushers in the state running back for Picayune. So, you know, that's the challenge for Gauche. Gauche is pretty decent on both sides of the ball up front. Uh, got good size, but the, the name of the game for Gaucher is really like Charles Pringle, and it's he's got really good kind of skill guys around him, good little running back slash receivers. Uh, you have uh, you know DeAndre Torrey, William Beverly, guys like that that can create big plays. I see you know maybe this come down to a late field goal. Josh Penton's a good kicker for Gaucher. He may be the key in this game if he can maybe put a through. Th put a couple through the uprights and maybe uh, come through in close, uh, close crucial situations. I see Gaucher picking that one off late. Uh, we appreciate you watching this week, and uh, we'll see you next week.